something. On the show this morning, we talked about a few things, uh, mostly in, in this area, in our region. Weather played a huge part the last couple of days, and it rained. A lot of rain. <laughs> Yes, it rained a lot. So we have our Wild Country Golf Days. This is usually one of the finest golf courses we have in the region, offering $10 for 18 holes of golf in the name of the radio station. You just book in advance and say, Wild Country sent you. That is postponed today. And then Men's Night over at Heart River Golf Course, another fine golf course. That is canceled tonight. So weather played a huge role. But again, you could be watching from anywhere. So let's get into country music. Garth Brooks making a huge announcement, sort of a follow-up from what he did last week. Garth Brooks is going to do a tour announcement. That's coming up at the end of the month, and he has new music. It's going to be coming up Monday or Tuesday. You'll probably, because of the internet, hear a snippet of it on Monday. It gets released to radio coming up on Tuesday. So Garth Brooks fans, you have a lot to look forward to. Uber has an interesting piece of technology they are trying to patent. They're tired of drunk people. They're going to come up with a technology where they can tell if you're drinking or not based on the way you are texting their service. So if you're drunk, they can send the appropriate driver. Good for you, Uber. Good thinking. And of course, history was in the making last night, so we got to talk about this. U.S. and North Korea and their summit. Beyond that, you may have seen the video of Dennis Rodman bawling his eyes out. Now, he may or may not have had a huge part to play in this whole thing. He made trips over to North Korea. He claimed to be friends with uh, Kim Jong-un. If it's true, even a little bit, the question we were asking this morning is what Canadian do you think would make a good arbitrator, middleman, peacemaker? And we had a ton of answers. Everything from Paul Brandt to Jan Arden to Ryan Reynolds. Oddly enough, nobody said Alex Trebek. I was thinking Alex Trebek. He could quiz people to death. You can chime in on any of these topics we've been talking about down below here. You can uh, bring the, com the conversation in a different direction if you want to. That's great too. But most of all, why don't you subscribe? If you really like these little videos we're doing, subscribe just down below here and you'll get notified each time we do one. Thank you again for tuning in and we'll see you next time. <laughs>